I wanted a simple way to store my spools on the wall. How about this? It's Film of Friday. Let's print some. I started with the simple DaVinci tool holder from Thingiverse user DC10. I've used this before for my DaVinci, but now I was going to modify it for the wall. So I imported the .stl file into Tinkercad. And then what I'm going to do is use a box to take away material that I don't want. So I line this up to the edge that I want to keep. Then I just resize the box so it covers everything I want to remove. Then I make it into a hole and group everything together. And that's how I take away material in Tinkercad. Now once I've got that the way I want it, I slide it to the edge of the bed. And this bed size is the same size as my DaVinci 1.0. So I stretch it out as far as I can to give me the longest hook. And this thing's pretty beefy, so it should handle it. Now I want to put two holes in the bracket for screws to hold it to the wall. So I made it five millimeters in diameter, made it longer, and brought it over to the spool rack, as I'm calling it, and dropped it into about the location where I want the lower screw. Now I needed to center this a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and then I made it into a hole. The next step was to duplicate it and slide the duplicate over to the upper portion. This is the second hole. Center that a little bit and then I'll have, I've got my two holes for mounting. Now the problem with this is the lower hole is actually going through an angled portion of the bracket. So what I need to do is make a recess for the screw head. So I brought in another cylinder, made that one 10 millimeters in diameter, and then did the same thing, turned it into a hole, put it on its side, and then slid it over and tried to center it to the hole for the screw. Now I didn't want it to go too deep, so I brought it out to see where the bottom would be, and that was about right, that's where the head will stop. And then all I had to do was center it to the five millimeter hole. Well, it was easier to make that a solid, because it's easier to see, and then I just adjusted things close. And then I did the alignment tool to align the two to each other. And that looked pretty good. So now all I needed to do was align both holes to the center of the bracket. And I used the align tool again. And there we have it, all aligned. So the final step is to group everything together, take a last look at it, make sure it's everything I want, make sure the recess looks good, and it does. So then I just download the STL file and ready to send it to my XYZWare. Now I still have a lot of viewers running stock DaVinci 1.0s and I had a spool of purple filament for the DaVinci that I was not going to use anywhere else. So I figured I'd use it on this project. So I brought in the .stl file, actually two of them, and then I positioned them so they were running parallel forward and back on my printer. This gave space for the test strip that goes on the side. So I clicked on the export button, then the advanced tab, and I clicked on the 50% fill and a 0.4 layer height, and I did thick shells. It started slicing, and I forgot how slow this is, but it was okay. It, it was done. It said 0.4 layer, large density, which is 50%, and it said it would take 5 hours, 17 minutes, and 48 meters of plastic. So that was good, so I sent it off to the DaVinci. The prints are done on the DaVinci, so let's see how they turned out. There's one and two. A little bit of glue on the bottom I need to clean off, but overall these look pretty good. Well, this one's got a little bit of glass on the bottom because the glass on my DaVinci has been slowly chipping away and it's getting worse. So I'm going to have to do something about that in the future. So what I'll probably do is just go take this, put it on the sander, and sand that off because I don't want to be chipping at it. And uh, I've tried on other prints to get that off easily. It, it does not come off easy. The easiest thing is just put it on my sander and sand it off. So I'll do that, and then we'll mount a couple of these. Now I made sure to wear my safety glasses because the last thing I wanted was a piece of glass flying into my eye. That really do damage. 
So I printed six of these and then ran out of filament. So it was time to mount them. So I got up my level and I marked a reference line that was level and at the height I wanted. Then I went along that line and marked every 10 inches for the center point. Now two screws hold these in place. The top one I had to hand tighten with a screwdriver because I couldn't get my power drill in there. And then I squared it up with my speed square and then I could shoot the bottom one with the power screwdriver. So that made it easier. Now what helped is behind this wall is solid wood. So I didn't have to worry about lining up the studs or putting in drywall inserts. I could just shoot the screws and mount the filament. So there you have it. Six wall mounted spool racks or spool hooks, whatever you want to call them. It worked out really, really well. I'll put the design on Thingiverse and I'll put a link to it in the description below. But what worked out really nice is it'll hold the wide ones or multiple thin ones. So it's really, really working out well and they seem very sturdy. Now if I need more space, I can just print more and put them on top row, in the top row here. So I think that'll work out good. And I left enough space above it so if I have to lift the covers of these, I have plenty of space to do that. So it's really going to work out for me. If you like the design, go ahead and print one yourself, or two, or three. That's it. That's Filament Friday for this week. If you're new to the channel, I do this every Friday, some kind of 3D print or 3D print project. I got a whole mess of them. In fact, it's in a playlist. You can go and watch the playlist and watch them all. So if you like this kind of thing, give it a thumbs up. It helps a lot. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. And if you want to support something like this, channel like this, a dollar to my uh, Patreon account goes a long way. A dollar a month is all I ask. Well, that's it. That's all I got for now. I'll see you next time.